All right, so I thought I would put these same colors to the test, but today we're gonna do it on black. So let's see how this works out. Cause I'm really curious to see how these alloys will do on black. All right, let's get started. Howdy, howdy, everyone. This is Claire Lawrence. So I was playing with uh, the new Ranger colors, the Alloyed line, the other day, and I intentionally tried to do a patina kind of look, you know, playing with the coppers and the, the teals and uh, turquoises color range. And, of course, I had to throw in a little bit of silver in there because silver always looks good with turquoise. But it came out amazing. I'm really, really happy with these alloys. I mean... You should see this in person, really. And I don't know what it's gonna do when I resin this piece. But I was wondering, how would these things react on black paper? And I got this new glossy printed paper. So I'm just curious. So we're kind of going to do a test today. And it may not be like a complete work of art. I'm not worried about that. I just really want to know what these guys do on that. All right, let's keep going. Okay, so what I've got here is I've just got a crate of boards sitting on top of my turntable. Um, I have to rig up something, I think, for when I just do paper and all that, because using a turntable with alcohol ink, I have to admit, it is pretty darn handy. I wasn't convinced before, but I am now. All right, let's get this alcohol moving around. Now, just like all metallics with alcohol ink, give them a good shake before you use them. Get all those little metallic-y bits mixed up in there. All right, here we go. Don't know how much the turquoise is going to really pop out. So it's also a test for that too. I haven't done a whole lot of, oops, don't want to add that. But I have a feeling the metallic is going to show up like crazy. Well, maybe it will. I don't know. Okay. Here we go. Oh, I'm going to do my normal thing. I like to tilt. It kind of gives it a little bit of mixing up, Get, brings in some nice blends ahead of time. Before I apply heat. Now I have noticed, and you probably saw it with that, when I blast it straight down, the alloys will s send out but it'll fan them out real thin-like, and you get these nice little fine shimmers in the negative space. You can always bring it back, but it'll always leave a little bit of a particle behind. It's really pretty.
So I do recommend if you're, oops, sorry, I mean to bump the camera there. Uh, if you do metallics uh, and you do a flood of alcohol like I just did, when you're done with your piece, put it to the side for a while. Like I usually just go on default for about an hour or 30 minutes uh, because I've noticed that the metallic colors, whether they're brass, you know, stuff like that from Jacquard or even these alloys, will kind of like your alcohol be under here and it creates this little skim or skin on top. And so this alcohol may not have evaporated completely. So that way when you put it off to the side, it'll give it that chance it needs to completely evaporate and dry. And then once it does, then, then you're usually pretty good to go. I got a little spot there that is definitely not dry. Another thing I could do if I wanted this turquoise to stand out more is I could do a white piece underneath it and wherever the white was and the teal went over top of it, that teal would definitely pop out. But uh, this is a little bit more of a subtle kind of an effect. Let me bring you guys in. So I wanted to bring this piece in first so that you can see how it looks overall. And this is just putting ink down and manipulating it and moving it. And you get that little shimmer. Uh, it's hard to get just so. There we go. Now, this is without much manipulation. But, let's see if I can pick up the piece and move it around. There is a little bit of a shimmer to it. Now, granted, you're also getting glossy. So, let's see if I can get it. There we go. Yeah, it is giving a little bit of a metallic shimmer, so that's nice. I'm gonna try and manipulate some of the edges and see if I can pull the color back towards the middle a little bit. And then we'll overall look at the piece. So we'll see. So what I'm doing there is just moving the alcohol over and then reactivating some of the colors and bringing the colors back. It does grab some of the particles of the, of the metallics, but it does leave a lot of the metallics behind. So it's not like 100% stays behind, but some of it does. Can you see some of the metallics right there? Now I'm putting quite a bit of heat on this, so this paper will probably do some bowing. I'll do a, t a test with some white, um, but I have to wait for some blending solution to arrive. And that's not going to happen for about a week.
So did you notice how when I put the alcohol in this area and I pushed the alcohol this way, it almost left it completely silver. But then when it came this way, it reactivated, came back, and it pulled all that turquoise right there. here. down okay so we got a lot more of the blue in the center area leaving fades of the alloy on the outside now it's probably easy to see that it doesn't take a lot of the alloy in fact I probably did too much on the black it gives either an overall galaxy appearance or well it's almost kind of a hot mess <laughs> so when you use it on black, be mindful that a little probably goes a long way, especially because it creates this overall sheen of metallic, and then you get some of the stronger areas of metallic too, as well as the little bits. So it's like there's a couple different levels of it that you'll get. So have fun with it on black. Just be mindful. That's kind of a pretty area right there. So it's got some really pretty Spots. I'm trying to find another pretty spot. That's not too bad. Yeah, I have to work on this one. <laughs> it's kind of a hot mess. All right, guys. See ya. subscribe button but definitely hit the bell to get notified 
next time I put a video up. Booyah!